Hey guys, I'm Chris Buck and a very warm welcome to Friday Fretworks and on this week's video we're taking a closer look at one of the coolest pedals I've had a chance to try in quite a while actually and that is the new Hudson Broadcast AP. Now just to give you a quick bit of background history on the pedal before we delve into anything too specific it's worth mentioning that Hudson have been producing the broadcast for a good number of years and although I've never actually had a chance to try one myself every video I've watched or magazine review I've read has always left me incredibly intrigued and very impressed and I guess this is due in part to the fact that as I get older in my dotage I'm kind of starting to lean towards pedals which I guess you would describe as a little bit more warts and all a million miles away from that sort of archetypal smooth sustaining singing overdrive that you may be more accustomed to stuff that I guess hides some of the rough edges in your playing but really leaves you nowhere to hide with the broadcast very much indicative of maybe a broadcast console within a TV or radio station or maybe more indicative of a kind of recording console in a studio as I said it's very preamp and it's capabilities and in its sound really gives you nowhere to hide. Now it's also worth mentioning the AP part of the pedal's title. Those initials of course belong to Mr. Ariel Posen, a good mate of mine and an absolutely phenomenal guitar player who's been a long time user of the broadcast so I guess it only really made sense that at some point there was likely to be a collaboration between himself and Hudson. Now, in regard to differences between the original broadcast and the new AP, it's worth mentioning that it's a different type of transformer, stuff I don't understand. We have a different type of transistor. It's been changed from a germanium to a silicon in this pedal, and also the high-pass filter is now actually a switch. Also worth mentioning that if you want to really kind of fine-tune this pedal and maybe get slightly less or more gain, there are trim pots inside to really fine-tune it, and it also runs between 9 and 24 volts. Now, for this video, I've been running it at 9, which really suits the kind of sounds that I was going for but if you're maybe using it as a preamp or you're running some different instruments into it maybe a synthesizer or keyboard put it up to 24 and really get the kind of maximum headroom and clarity out of it now obviously the start of the video saw some very kind of nasty fuzzed out tones a little bit reminiscent of the Beatles tone on Helter Skelter of course the legacy behind that being that they reportedly plugged straight into the recording console and overloaded the preamps to get that very nasty spluttery fuzz tone but my favourite tone within this pedal is actually dialing the gain back a little bit and really playing with the volume control on your guitar one thing definitely worth mentioning about this pedal is that it's incredibly dynamic and really touch sensitive so if you want it to break up dig in a little bit harder if you want something more reminiscent of a clean boost, play a little bit softer and it's going to give you everything in between. Obviously, you've seen that nasty spluttery fuzz tone with uh, a PAF equipped guitar. However, it's worth mentioning that if you're going to run some slightly lower output pickups into it, you're going to get a very different response. You're going to run a Telecaster into it with very similar settings to that intro clip, but uh, as you will hopefully hear, a very different outcome. <laughs>
Now, I quickly mentioned its capabilities as a clean boost. I'm going to grab my Strat here and set it up as a little bit more than a clean boost, I guess. We're going to get a little bit more hair around the notes, but it's worth mentioning that if you change your pick attack, and as I said, just play a little bit lighter, it really gives you a very amp-like sort of dynamic and feel to the pedal. And last but definitely not least, we're going to do something a little bit more in my ballpark, I guess. A little bit less saturated, but still with the capacity to really fuzz up nicely if you dig in. Also worth mentioning that this pedal is available exclusively through Anderton's. I shall stick a link in the description box below. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Thanks again to Ariel for sending me this pedal. I've been incredibly impressed. As ever, this is Friday Fretworks. I've been Chris Buck. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next week for another video. Cheers, guys. Take care, and I shall see you soon.